Dan TV's Jeff Hogan is joined by former OSU basketball player Jerry Lucas, who's come out with a new method for improving children's memories. Sometimes in the world of sports, it's good to have a short memory if you have a bad game. Well, Jerry Lucas didn't have very many bad games in his career, and you don't have a short memory either. You've got a long memory. I when did, did you Jeff. realize you had this gift? Well, as a child, I had an incredibly active mind, invented hundreds of mental games. And my mind was always busy, got to school and realized I wasn't being taught how to learn. Everything we had to try to learn on our own was by repetition, repetition, repetition. And I realized it's got to be a more fun way to do this, and I began. And I discovered a principle that changed my life forever. I learned how we learn prior to going to school. As children, we never have a problem learning prior to school because everything we learn has an identity. A cat, a dog, a horse, a cow. Mm -hmm. We see it, register the picture in our mind, can't forget it. Because when we think of it, it reappears in a picture. For instance, Jeff, if I say to you, please do not see a zebra in your mind. Whatever you do, do not see a zebra. You have to see a zebra, <laughs> okay? You do. Yeah, and then we go to school, everything changes. Because now we can't use this remarkable automatic learning ability because everything we're called on to, put, to learn is abstract. Letters, numbers, words, and symbols. And I thought, what if? Mm -hmm. What if I could give an identity to all that abstract information? That's what I've spent my life doing, and that makes learning automatic. Well, I know you don't think that you have any other gift than anybody else. You have a memory just like everybody else, but you've chosen to take the, the learning path, the education route. Yes. Well, everybody has the gift of storing pictures in the mind. I learned how to use that gift, and, re and the most important thing is I've created the material to teach people how to use it and learn automatically. My children love to learn. Every night at dinner, they'd say, Daddy, teach us something, because it was fun, mm -hmm. Jeff, and they were rewarded because they learned easily, and it was exciting and fun, and it changes lives. It really does. Dr. Memory, you've been called that for years. Tell me what we're looking at uh, right here with this CD-ROM Well, collection. these are some of the products that I've created that have never really been made available to the public. I've only sold these from, for the many years in my uh, seminars where I teach, and mm -hmm. so I'm making them available to the public for the first time. There are a variety of products. We'll show a couple of pictures in a moment of how they worked. And you can go to my website, we'll give that address later, and you can find out how learning can be automatic for your children, you, or anybody. Well, give me an idea. What okay, well, about? the first picture I want to talk about, if we could see it, is a picture of a state and a capital. Mm -hmm. uh, you see a picture of an ark, like Noah's ark. There's a can in front of it, and it's holding a saw, an ark, a can, and a saw. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the state of Arkansas, it's mm -hmm. tangible, you can see it. <laughs> But we have to see the capital. You'll notice the can's being used as a holding place so the ark can saw a little rock in half. Mm -hmm. Little Rock, Arkansas. It's kind of like you're back on your parents' knee as a child saying this is a cat, a dog, a horse. By the way, that's an Arkansas. And I guarantee you, Jeff, having seen this picture and having it described and explained the rest of your life, like it or not, every time you think of Arkansas, that picture will pop into your mind and you can't forget the answer because you see the answer. Well, there's another one. You can teach Spanish as I well. I do. Well, I, any subject. Yeah. And uh, here, here, here is a picture of a, an English word and a Spanish word. You see a tiger. That's the English word. Mm -hmm. The tiger is sipping tea with a gray squirrel. The Spanish word for tiger is tea gray. It's sipping tea with a gray squirrel. You see what it means. You can't forget it once you see the picture. And not only that, my foreign vocabulary pictures allows you to see the pronunciation of the word. You can't mispronounce it because you see what to say. And I've done that with many, many subjects. Grammar and punctuation. How to remember names and faces. I have an incredibly in-depth CD-ROM on that, which helps many people, and a variety of products that make it different. Well, thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. My pleasure, it. Jeff. Dr. Memory, catching yes. up with you once again. Thanks, Jeff. All right, take care.